what is the people of youtube welcome to yet another episode of i don't know what i'm doing thanks to my patrons for an amazing surprise last week if you guys want to check out these amazing blend files the link is in the description also this is a weird little video so let's roll the montage So this is going to be a quick little video because honestly the effect isn't much and it's fairly easy to do but you have to agree that it has a lot of potential so with that in mind let's get into it so here in blender i'm going to select everything and delete it and the next thing that i'm going to do is press shift a and bring in a plane i'm going to increase the scale let's add a particle system and change it to hair particles I'm going to check the advanced box because Blender actually suggests you click on the advanced box and I'm going to increase the number to 3000. So right now our hair length is 4 meters. If you wanted to go real world scale you would go 0.001 meters or something like that. But Blender can't really handle physics at that scale so we're going to have to cheat the scale. I'm going to go to 0.2 meters and we'll change it if we found the need. Let's go to the source tab and change the distribution random so right now we have 4000 hair particles in a fairly huge plane which seems really less so what we're going to do is go into the children tab now what children tab allows you to do is generate more particles in your scene without blender actually calculating their physics blender will see all these 3000 particles as parent particles and calculate their physics and then it will create more particles between the parent particles and according to proximity it will you know direct the child particles toward the parent particles motion so i'm going to select interpolated and the display amount is 10 which is why you can see a lot of hair right now but the render amount is 100 which is a lot of hair i don't really need it and i'm going to reduce the display amount to 5 so that i can clearly see what's happening and the render amount to like 8 or 10 let's see what we need in the future so right now if i press render my hair particles will be rendered as these strands or curves but if you wanted to replace them with a realistic alternative like grass you can do that by going into the render tab and choosing object there are a lot of tutorials on this on youtube this tutorial is not on this topic so i'm going to leave it at that but if i'm going to render these as curves i'm going to have to set the size of these curves so i'm going to go to here shape and in my diameter root i'm going to reduce it to 0 0.25 and the tip as well to 0.25 i'm going to uncheck close tip because it creates this weird cone at the top i just don't like the look of it okay so the so basic settings of our hair particles have been dialed in what we need to do now is create the smoke that will affect the hair particles okay so for the purpose of this tutorial let's do the explosion from the center thing that might just look cooler so for that what i'm going to do is press shift a again I'm going to add a torus to my scene let's go to modifiers and subdivide it by a little bit okay so let's hide our plane and let's go to the top view now in edit mode let's select circle select okay so let's scale the torus down to like almost zero let's say and i'll create a keyframe by pressing i and scale i'll move ahead a couple frames uh, let's say seven eight frames I'll increase the scale to uh, I guess this is all right I'm going to create another keyframe by pressing I and scale next thing I need is to add a displace modifier to this torus I'm going to create a new texture in our texture tab I'm going to add a cloud texture it's going to give it this weird little noise now originally this effect was meant for Houdini because in Houdini you could create custom velocity fields which is then applied to vex structures which you know gives you a better result obviously but in blender you can't really create custom velocity fields so a workaround is you create a smoke simulation and then use that smoke simulation as a velocity field to simulate your hair particles let's select our torus and go to object quick effects quick smoke now in the fluid settings of our domain uh, the domain type is set to gas and the resolution is set to 32 so what this means is that there are these voxels in our 
domain which all have this velocity attribute this one might be facing upward and the voxel above it might be facing left and the one above it might be facing upward again so if you increase the resolution by a lot even though it would give you a better smoke simulation but there would be a lot of voxels that would be pointing in a lot of different directions which could create a weird little hair simulation creates this uh, weird little choppy hair you don't really want that you want smoother simulations so make sure you are not going too high on the resolution let's increase the time step minimum and maximum because it will give a better sim and i will check the bottom border collision because we need the smoke to react to the bottom of our domain i'm not going to check adaptive domain now in gas settings the buoyancy density and heat are responsible for your smoke to rise up which you don't want so i'm going to set my heat to negative one and my buoyancy density to negative one as well you can play with these settings as much as you want now i would advise against checking the noise button a little bit of vorticity will help now as i told in my rocket launch tutorial not a lot of vorticity but a little bit is fine okay so let's play our simulation okay and it's shit what happened is uh, i forgot to add our properties fluid properties to the inflow object so in my torus add the last keyframe and use flow is checked i'll press i to create a keyframe and at the very next frame i'll uncheck use flow to create another keyframe i'm going to increase the sampling sub steps uh, just for a better sim and i'll click on the initial velocity and let's set the source to 2 and the normal velocity to like 30 let's see how the sim works let's be Okay, so 40 looks fine to me right now, but you could change these settings. You could play with the displace modifier to create a weirder shapes. I'm going to add a force field and it's going to be a fluid force. Now in the fluid force settings, I'm going to select the domain object to be smoke domain and do not click on apply density. As you can see, the grass is now getting affected by our smoke simulation. Let's uh, hide the smoke simulation for right now. Let's increase the strength to like three and let's rewatch it that looks much better you can add uh, you can make better patterns by adding a better smoke simulations or adding more forces to your scene but uh, for the purpose of this tutorial this works select my plane and in my particle settings i'm going to go to my viewport display and disable the show emitter i don't want to see the plane and in my render settings i'm going to uncheck the show emitter because i don't want to see my plane i'll check the b spline tool it will give you a better curve while rendering now these are essentially curves so the curve in phone mode will work let's add a color ramp let's pass the intercept to the factor let's add the color to our factor and let's just dial it in there we go now a lot of you will be thinking why i didn't enable hair dynamics i tried to i clicked on hair dynamics i increased the quality steps to 80 i played with all the settings the problem is as soon as i bake the simulation and i press render everything disappears i mean the basic scene is there all the hair particles disappear now i've said this before my machine is slower but i don't think it's my machine this time i think the particle system in blender is uh, sort of messed up but good thing is it works without uh, baking the simulation or enabling hair dynamics. It's not as good as it. I think it would work with uh, hair dynamics. But then again, you win some, you lose some. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Drop a like and press the subscribe if you did. And again, thanks to the patrons for an amazing morale booster. Check it out if you want those amazing blend files. And thanks for watching. Until next time. Goodbye.